this is definitely a new approach. We got the, the Tesla drive-in movie theater, basically. Um, it's good to see everyone. It's a little hard to read the room uh, with, with everyone being in cars, but it's uh, <laughs> it's the only way we could do it. So uh, hopefully it's cool and hopefully you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Okay. All right, great. This is like, if for people that really know cells, this is a massive breakthrough. We need to make uh, more affordable cars. Um, the, uh, you know, I think one of the things that troubles me the most is that we, we don't yet have a truly affordable car. Um, and that, that is something that we will make in the future. Uh, but in order to do that, um, we've got to get the cost of batteries down, we've got to make, uh, and we've got to be better at manufacturing. To clarify, the, when we see these um, plus 16% or whatever the, the percentage range increases, these are the amounts due just to that particular innovation. Yes. So we'll list a whole bunch of innovations, and then when you add them up, you get a total uh, improvement in uh, energy density and cost, uh, but uh, th these numbers are are what refer to just this thing. To, to be clear, it will take about a year to reach the 10 gigawatt hour capacity. Uh, so. Uh, this is important to appreciate like when you build a factory there's a certain capacity that you design to and then uh, it takes some period of time to actually achieve that capacity I think we'll, we'll hopefully release uh, a private beta of, of autopilot of the full self-driving version of autopilot in I think a month or so uh, and then people will, will really uh, understand just the magnitude of the change. It's, it's profound.